All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go ahead and tackle the install of the low car pedal products. Some of you guys have seen the unboxing video of the accelerator pedal already. I said at the time we were waiting on the throttle cable and a couple other parts. Everything's come in. I'm going to go ahead and go over a quick review real quick of everything we've got. Show you all the product numbers, part numbers and whatnot that we're using. And then we'll go ahead and start tackling the install. I went ahead and sprung for the e-brake cover that matches the rest of the set. If you're interested, there is the part number for that. Again, it's for Chevelle. I don't know why it wouldn't fit any other 68 through 72 GMA bodies, but again, if you are interested, check with Low Car before you just order that. Nice thick quality piece, just like the others. Again, you get your instructions. Again, there's the accelerator pedal. If you haven't seen the other video, check it out. You'll see that more in detail. And there's the part number for that. Unfortunately, at this time, this still is not available to you guys yet, but it, it'll be coming out soon. So keep an eye out for that. Again, the difference is this is the direct bolt-in for the Chevelle. Here's the throttle cable we were waiting on. Uh, there's the part number for this one. This is the polished. If you've seen the rest of the car, that's why sprung for it matches everything else I got going on as far as the bling goes 24 inch universal uh, they do sell other links and other part numbers as well for the non polished it's about ten dollars cheaper what I paid for the throttle cable yeah we got the brake pedal getting everything's well packaged quality pieces super Excited to get this in the car. Definitely beats the Chinese garbage I got going on in there now. There's the part number for that. Uh, to try and save a little bit of time and speed up the process, I've already removed the old throttle cable and the accelerator pedal. And you can see the, the rubber is pretty well shot. It's just, it's old. Swap out. And besides that, without some serious modification, it won't work with the low car pedal. You do need to use their Cleva style design with the accelerator pedal that comes with the throttle cable. Get a good look at that. I'm sure if some of you guys are good at the fabricating and, and making stuff work, I'm sure you could figure out a way to make it work. Uh, my time is too valuable right now. It was easier to just shell out the money and, and do what's going to make it go in quick and easy. Now there's the original pedal. Like I said, you can see the cheap Chinese covers I was using look a little cheesy. So this will be a huge improvement. Cost a hell of a lot more money, but you get what you pay for. Unfortunately, I've learned that the hard way, like I've said before a few times. So these are good quality pieces. So let's go ahead and get cracking and get them up in the car. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with the e-brake pad first. See, we got everything opened up out of the package. You got complete instructions. Here we got our pad. We got the hardware that comes with it. Give you a little tube of adhesive. This is for the rubber pads. So basically, real quick demonstration before we get in the car. You need to pull out the rubber inserts that you got in there. And they go ahead and this inserts right over the your steel pedal in there. You mount on, they want you to go ahead and use a hole punch or something. You're going to drill out two diagonal ones, get it mounted, then you go ahead and drill out the other two, get it mounted. You said you get your hardware right here. Then you use the adhesive, just put a little inside the insert there, and then you'll get your rubber inserts locked in once you get it all mounted up. And you should be good to go. It's really a fairly quick and simple process so we'll go ahead and get working on that and we'll go ahead and do the brake pad which is pretty much exactly the same just a larger version and then we'll start working on the accelerator pedal so here we are in the car we got the rubber pads removed everything's ready to go got our e-brake cover we'll go ahead we'll get it mounted up on there it's kind of held right in place it's a perfect fit on there we'll go ahead and take our center punch like they said we'll go ahead and mark diagonal holes
Okay, got our marks. We'll go ahead and get those drilled out. Get two of them on here, get it mounted up into place, and then we'll go ahead and drill out the other two. Okay, so now that we got those first two diagonal holes drilled, we'll go ahead and get the cover on. Everything lines up perfect. We'll go ahead and bolt it down with the two we got here. And then we'll do the other two holes. Okay, so there's our last hole. Go ahead and get the last screw in here and mount it. So that's pretty secure, guys. That ain't going anywhere. I'll go ahead and we'll get the rubber pads glued in place and she'll be done. Okay, so the next step is take a little bit of this supplied instant adhesive. You just put it right in here where the rubber boot's going to sit. And we'll install it. Just trying to be careful not to get any out on the, on the brushed finish. Uh, it, the instructions do say you can go ahead and remove it with acetone if you can hit it real quick before things dry on you. We're just going to be careful not to get it on there in the first place. Just like that, it says go ahead and hold pressure on them for about 60 seconds, but uh, and they're really a good snug fit anyway. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, so while I hold a little pressure on it, go ahead and show you guys, let you look at it. There's your finished product, just like that. So there's the e-brake out of the way. We'll go ahead and move on to the brake pedal itself and go from there. Okay, so here we go with the brake pedal. We'll go ahead and get it opened up. Like I said, this is basically the exact same install as the e-brake pedal. And you got four holes. So I'm not going to do every little detail of this one just to save a little time, keep the video a little bit shorter. It's the exact same thing. You got your instructions, your supplied instant adhesive that comes with it. You see your, your rubbers will pull out of there. We'll drill our four holes, get it mounted up. 
just a larger version uh, everything else is the exact same other than that so we'll go ahead and get that in there like I said I'm not going to show every little detail we'll try and keep the video a little bit shorter and then we can move on to the accelerator pedal and the throttle cable all right so there we go guys got both the brake and the e-brake pedals installed like I said identical installation pretty much skip the steps just to keep the video a tad shorter it's basically a repeat of what you just saw with the e-brake but so far looking good uh, we're all ready to go ahead and get the accelerator pedal installed so let's go ahead and get on that next so we got the instructions pretty straightforward and simple just like the other videos or the other components There you have it, nice piece, real lightweight, super thick, high quality, spring loaded. So, let's go ahead and get it installed in the car. Okay guys, so to make the installation that much easier, we just went ahead and I pulled everything apart, the accelerator. Just get the bracket mounted up to the firewall and then we can put the rest of it together. That simple, we'll go ahead and throw it on, put it all back together. Oh, real quick before I stick this back on, just so you guys are aware, this is spline, so you can make your adjustments as necessary when you're installing the throttle cable. You basically clock the arm wherever you need it. I'm just gonna stick it on for now just so I don't lose pieces. And Keep it out of the way. We'll leave it loose because I'm sure we're going to have to pull it back off and readjust things to fine tune it. But there you have it. <clears throat> Pretty good idea what the setup looks like now. So now that we got all the pedals installed, we're on to the final piece of the puzzle here. We got our throttle linkage. We'll go ahead and get this hooked up. It's going to be hard for me to do a, an exact play-by-play -play install of this, so we'll just go over how it works. It's pretty simple and straightforward but this is a really well engineered and thought out piece uh, things come apart obviously it goes right up to your throttle linkage this slips right out of the sheath that's the part that will hook a little clevis that will hook onto the brake pedal that we've already installed so we get this installed this will end will go into the firewall this end will go up on our mounting bracket up by the carburetor and as we take it apart we go and mount this and we cut this to length where we need it and we put this all back on put it all back together and then once we got that portion mounted we'll stick this back in there we can measure that and then we can also cut this to length it's got a set screw hold it on there so this is a 24 inch piece they have 36 inch low car has some other different pieces it's pretty universal so we're gonna mount it up in there and make it fit exactly the way I want it need it to fit and the project will be complete all right guys here we are all finished that was super straightforward looks nice and clean right through the firewall he like said not not a whole lot to it went in just like it was supposed to 
Looks good. I'm really happy with it. Here is the, the finished product.